morning guys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about the two-tone finger fin. Now, scientific name, there are a few different finger fins you get here. The scientific name is Chirodactylus brachydactylus. That means, scientific name sort of breaks down to fingers and short fingers, so a little bit, a little bit weird. Um, it's overall quite a chunky fish, uh, very very hard scales on them. Um, if you've ever tried to scale them, they are ridiculously hard to scale because the scales sit very very strongly into the skin. Um, it's called two-tone finger fin because of the colors that they, that they present, dark top, light bottom. Um, they often have white blotches on them, which you can actually, you'll see in the pictures. It's an interesting, very, very interesting fish. They've got extended uh, pec fins. On the pec fins themselves, they've got little extensions there that actually looks like they've got fingers. And they're often red-tipped on the, on the two-tone. Now, he can sit on the rocks like that, and he can sit with his fingers on the rocks and he can actually prop himself up like that and he can move around and sort of almost like a gurnard does. Yeah as I mentioned overall chunky body um, almost like a goat fish type but with his head being a little bit different mouth slightly further up um, but yeah that overall sort of chunky um, chunky body actually quite a tricky one to describe anyway. Um, they get to about 40 centimeters it's, it's generally quite a small fish you normally get them a lot smaller than that um, they're not readily taken on bait. It's one of those fish that they're around and they often will be the last fish left in a place because they don't actually uh, readily take food items and things like that. If you are going to want to target them, um, put them on your species list or so, small natural baits, so worms if you're down in the cave, uh, mussel, red bait, maybe inside of a cockle, something like that. Um, Anything to that sort of extent, you're going to want to use something, something that's very natural, nice and small, um, not on a big gaudy hook, you want a nice small light wire hook. Um, and then, yeah, fishing wise, you're going to be looking for them in uh, rocky areas. They're, they're not a sand species, they only like sitting in rocks, gullies, uh, rocky reefs, coral reefs. If you don't really get them as far up as a coral reef, but your your rocky reefs and kelp forests and things like that is where you're really going to get them. The one very very interesting fact about them is that they're actually endemic. Now, as we mentioned a few times, endemic means you only find them in our waters. So, you get them from uh, Valfus Bay all the way around to about Maputo, and that's the only place you get them in the world. You don't get them anywhere else. Um, you don't get them in uh, around the world. It's just in that little section like that. So if we wipe them out, that's it. That's the last species. As you mentioned, reefs, rocky areas, um, gullies. They love love a nice bit of working water. They're very very strong fish in terms of being able to hold position things like that. But you're quite a small mouth uh, and not a very common species to target. And uh, they're not really a nuisance fish either because they don't they're, they're not peckers. They don't come and, and wipe the bait out. But yeah, if you were going to target them, put them on your list. Uh, small natural baits, sort of like uh, Bellman and things like that. Same, similar sort of targeting methods, but you're going to look for them just in the rocky areas. So put a knot in your sinker or a very light sinker line, just in case you do get stuck and break off. And yeah, take, like you've seen Ray and myself do, that light spinning tackle is really the way to go. It's nice to be able to work and sort of just fish through the, the gutters and things like that. The two-tone finger fin, Chirodactylus brachydactylus. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.